What's up, everybody? It's Voxel Craze here, and welcome, welcome back to Lumpia Craft. Ah, we're finally back, <laughs> and we have a bunny behind us. Hello, Mr. Bunny. So today's plan, guys, is a couple of things that I've been wanting to do. Um, first off, we are going to be making kind of a a little tree platform thing here. Uh, so you can tell I have a bunch of hoppers and some um, orange carpet here. And so what we're going to do is just do a little little thing where, you know, we can grow a tree, chop it down, and then uh, collect everything um, that falls from it. So um, we're just going to do that really quick. Um, so guys, if you have been keeping up with our channel, we have done a couple of live streams um, this past week. So be sure to check those out. Uh, Lubia and I were just, uh, we headed over to an ocean monument and we've been uh, clearing it out. We got rid of the Elder Guardians and everything with a bit of derpiness on my part. Rabbit. You in the way. Um, so yeah, yeah, be sure to check those out. Um, as for this, I don't really know if I like the fact that it's going to hit the wall. That's going to bother me, so I might move it up by one, I think. Mm, I don't even know if I need it this big, really. All right, guys. So I actually made the the thing a little bit smaller. Um, I think I took off one one block on each side. So we're just gonna put the dirt blocks in the middle. That uh, that looks like the middle, right? It's three on each side. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the middle. And then um, we're gonna place two chests in the front. Uh, these chests will be what all the items that drop siphon into. And then we have the hoppers that's going to go point into the chest. And then we could place all the hoppers pointing into that hopper so that they all flow right into there. I don't think I have enough hoppers. Um, I need probably need like 10, 12 more than I actually have with me. Uh, so we're going to have to go and do that. But let's place all these really quick just to be sure of how many I will need. Alright guys, that is done. So we now have a little bit of a tree farm. Um, I just really wanted to do that really quick at the beginning of this episode, and then now there's some things I want to show you, just kind of catch up on things that we have done before, um, starting with Enchant Me This. Um, here we go, we have six diamonds um, from our best customer, which would be Unlimited Lufia. He's bought a lot of things. Um, the Protection, Protection, Aquafinity, Depth Strider, I know we're all for the... Uh, the guardian farm on our stream. Um, he bought those so that we could be prepared for when the guardians actually attack us. And then the other two he bought on his own. So that's really great. Um, we're getting we're getting some diamonds back, which is awesome. And then the next thing I want to show you is that one night I was really bored and this happened. Uh, so I made the downstairs of the villager holding area a little bit prettier. Um, I just really wanted to, you know, kind of. I don't know, make it look nice, and uh, all these chests along the wall are for things that um, we can trade with. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys was the slime farm. So we have a full chest of slime already, um, and we have another half of a chest. So that already is a lot more slime than we will probably ever use, um, unless the guys decide to do something with a lot of slime blocks or, you know, build a house of just slime for some reason. <laughs> Alright, so I've been using our new little tree farm to get a bunch of spruce wood because spruce wood is what I want to actually build with next. As you can see over here, I have plotted out a little bit, little area for us um, and what this area is going to be is a new house because our bed is sitting in, in the platform. Like really, this is the most exposed area I could probably place my bed and it's just it's not cool, it's not pretty, you know, no one wants to be sleeping in the middle of a giant room. Well, maybe. I don't know. I'm sure everyone has their preferences. But, um, so we have one bed. I actually need two beds. Uh, I need some wool. There we go. Wool. And we have wood upstairs, so let's go back up. And we're gonna get started on this building. So the base of this building is pretty much gonna be mostly spruce wood. Um, I know it doesn't quite match the whole bright white thing I got going on in my base, but um, I think this kind of design will go in really well. It is still a modern design, uh, kind of the way everything else is in my base, but um, uh, and I have actually already kind of designed it. I'm actually making this uh, this 
build a little bit bigger than I have on my creative world just because I didn't know how much space I had to build with and so um, we're just making it a little bit bigger here just because you know I can why not and um, so let me build a little bit um, kind of get things started on the way and then I'll bring you guys back once I've made a bit of progress so guys this this is what I got so far uh, let me place these down real quick um, so we have our nice little little bedroom right here, you know, nice little thing. Um, and these two spots where the torches are right now are going to be sea lanterns. I don't have those right now because I used all the sea lanterns we got from the monument in the um, the villager trading hall at the moment. So um, yeah, that. So so we need to go back and get some of those, or we'll we'll place those in once we get the farm up and running. Um, but for now, the torches will do. You know, whatever. Alright, so I was checking my chest just to see if I had collected any of the, uh, see if I had collected any of the prismarine stuff while we were working on the temple, and I did. Um, so we're gonna make a little bit of lanterns out of this, if I can remember how to make the lanterns out of this. It's something like this, right? I know, I know it's a complicated pattern, and I know you use more of the shards than the actual prismarine thingy. There we go. Alright, so we get four. Um, I know I needed at least seven, I believe. Um, so it's not enough, but it will get us by. Let's put all this stuff away real quick. Alright, so I've placed two of the prismarine down um, where I said I was going to. Uh, we have two more. Um, so originally this section right here was, wasn't going to be green glass. It was going to be the green, the green clay that I have going throughout the rest of the build. But because of the very top of this um, build, uh, wasn't going to be able to be lit. Like so, wasn't going to be able, wasn't going to be able to be lit. So I needed to be able to you know place light somehow and prevent mobs from really spawning without really you know having torches going all along my roof. So um, we're doing it that way. You know, it's not bad. Um, the green matches, so I'm not really bothered by it at all. I hope you guys don't mind. I like the green. Um, and the rest of the roof shouldn't be spawnable because um, I, mean, I am using half slabs for the whole roof. So it's really just this one little section here that mobs could have spawned on. So we're just using prismarine. Um, and we're just going to cover them with stairs. Alright guys, I'm here at the Guardian Temple just because I thought what the hey, I'll just get the lanterns now so that we have a nice complete build. Uh, by the end of this episode, and um, I just thought I'd show you guys, you know, what we've done. I have an Aquan Affinity helmet, so you guys can kind of see, hopefully, what's going on. I don't want to take a night vision potion just because I'm not going to be here that long. It'd be a waste of a eight minute potion if I'm only going to be here for 30 seconds. So um, that is kind of what we've done so far. Uh, we've removed a little bit of the temple already, uh, but we do plan on doing a lot more of this um, off camera before our next stream. Um, it would go a lot quicker if this monument had a sponge room, but because it doesn't, we are having to do the whole getting rid of the water using gravel, which is a pain in the butt, but we'll do it, you know, whatever. So let's go ahead and go down and get these lanterns. Alright, so I'm just over here switching back from my diamond armor to my iron armor, because I don't really need the fancy armor right now. Um, so let's put all this on, and we're right now inside the Melon Ang statue that you may have seen in Unlimited Lumpia's Friday episode. Um, it was quite a funny episode. He teamed up with uh, Triple Red Shell to build this nice little statue of Ang. Yeah, Ang. <laughs> um, if you don't know what a who Ang is, he is the uh, main character from The Last Airbender, a Nickelodeon show. Yeah. Um, this was something that they had on our last server, so they wanted to rebuild it here. So let's put these two lanterns in, um, and then let's just go ahead and check to make sure things are kind of lit up. We do have a seven block right there. Eight, eight, nine, uh, oh, it's looking good so, for the most part. Let's, um, see what else we can do to make sure we don't get any more spawns. I don't really think I need this part in, so let's cover this up with wood. Um, I mean, that little 2 by one section isn't going to provide a whole lot of space. I really don't have anything uh, to put there, so we're just going to get rid of that. And then, um, I think we should carry this clay all the way over, as long as it doesn't 
make the outside look ugly. So let's let's tear this down and put the clay back in or clay in rather. All right, so let's see how this looks so far. You know, let's go ahead and carry the windows all the way over. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. I know the windows aren't even with the openings down below, but that really does not bother me. Um, I think it looks cool, so um, we're going to leave it like that. Okay, so now I want to add a little bit of accents to the little patio area. It's not a whole lot. I mean, you know, we don't we don't have a whole lot of space, so we're just going to add a few trap doors to the top of the um, the green clay here, uh, just to, you know, you know, break up the whole big green texture thing. Um, so now this part is a little bit... Uh, unknown territory because this little section right here is actually all extra room it was not in my original plan so it depends if I want to cover this whole thing up or have two doorways or uh, let's try some things yeah I think I like that so it's a five wide opening now um, I think that looks a lot better than having the smaller door um, it just kind of opens things up more so in the front here we're gonna actually add a little bit of dirt and so we're gonna have like a nice little flowery kind of thing there um, eventually. So let's add the bone meal. Uh, we're just going to do tall grass right now because I can't, I can't really think of anything better at the moment. <laughs> so for this next part, I actually know a bunch of lime green banners. Um, I've actually dyed two of our sheep lime green and I've gotten a little bit of wool from them. But um, I need about five banners. So that means I need 60 green wool. So we're just going to wait here, you know, wait for these two sheep to spawn their wool back and we'll see how long that takes. Alright guys, that took forever. I did not think it was gonna take that long, but um but we got it. We got the five banners. Banners? We got the five banners. So let's go ahead and do this little furniture accent thing that I had in mind. Uh, we're gonna put the banners down and then we have some some court stairs. So we just put them like that. Oh. Man! I mean... Uh, uh, I... You know what? Whatever. I don't... I don't care. Do I care? I don't care, right? They look so cool if they were lime green. But we're just gonna put these on the sides. Uh, that, that looks weird. We're gonna figure out something to do with that. But for now, we're gonna leave it like this. Um, it may just stay, just stay like this. Whatever. You know? But let's put these windows in, and then we can continue on with what we are planning to do. So over here, guys, what I have planned is, is it's going to be a little bit of a kitcheny living room -y area. And then we're going to have a table running along the wall, like so. And then we're actually going to have a crafting table down, and then right next to the crafting table will be the furnace eventually when I get there um, and then yeah so we're gonna put things on the tabletops and we just want to make sure nothing can spawn around here so just double checking real quick it's looking good all right I don't think anything's gonna spawn so all right guys so this next part is a little bit of a hit and miss um, I know I saw this on YouTube a little while back it's been a while since I've seen it probably about a year since I've seen it um, so I'm hoping it still works but we are going to make ourselves a nice little campfire down here. Um, so, uh, as I said, I don't know if this is going to work. Um, and it's a campfire used making... It's a campfire made using uh, the armor stands. So, uh, it's pretty cool. So we're just going to put the water down. And then we need to put the uh, armor stands down. Um, and I think these are really cool that you can just kind of, depending, they place depending on which way you face, um, in terms of also on the diagonal, so that's really cool. I really like these things. Um, so, and these things are jumping, so we need to add water there, so they stop jumping. And then we have it placed on the bed just so that it's slightly lower than a full block, because um, we do need it to actually sit partly in the water. So let's go ahead and clear out all this dirt real quick and replace it with the granite so that it all matches. Doo -doo -doo. And then... And then I believe we need to get rid of these. And if we get rid of the one diagonal of the water, 
we can place our lava bucket there. And these should burn, but not actually like get destroyed. So let's just wait here a little bit to make sure they don't they don't burn. Um, which it looks like they're not. If they were going to get destroyed, I think they would have done it by now. Um, these things do, they are made of wood, so they do burn kind of quickly. Uh, so it's looking good, it's looking good. Um, next thing we need to do is actually put the andesite back in over it. But since um, the armor stands are kind of in between four blocks, we need to use pistons to do it. So we have our pistons here, and we just need to push the the andesite down, like so, like so, like so, like so, um, and then we can break everything, and it'll turn out great. Um, so this is how we are pushing the the andesite back down. So that way, it'll just cover the campfire, and it lo it'll look seamless. Like it looks really good. If you guys haven't seen this before, I will definitely try to find a link for it and put it somewhere in the video. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of YouTube tutorials on it. But yeah guys, so that's how it looks. Let's get rid of this andesite floating in the air. Um, but I think it looks really cool. Look at that. Look at that. It looks so cool. Um, and you don't get burned on by it if you walk over it. It does kind of disappear, but you know, that's a 2D graphic for you. But um, yeah, so I think it turns out really well. Um, we're just going to put a little bit of seating around it, so that way you know you can sit out here, cook your s'mores and whatnot. Alright, so we're just going to put these in the L shape around the campfire. Whoops. Wait, did I not get that that stair back? Where did it go? Where did it go? Alright, well I guess we've got to make another one or whatever, or find where it went. Um, probably just disappeared, but yeah. See, you can sit right there, you know. I just like cook your s'mores, have fun. Campfire talk. Um, oh. oh, there's an invisible block there. The stair must not completely got destroyed, so let's... uh. Yeah, there's an invisible block. So let's go ahead and put the dirt down so we can get it back. There it goes. Oh, oops, and I broke the other the other stair. Um, but that's okay. We now have two, so we just put them back really easily. Bam and bam. Ooh, I really like how that turned out. Like it's it's really good. I could go ahead and you know add the seat cushions like I did in inside the room, but um, yeah, yeah, they're just gonna turn out black again. Uh, so over here we're going to add a little bit more of a greenery kind of thing, just to match the other side. And then, and yeah. What do you think, guys? Um, I think it looks really good. I am super stoked with the fire. Um, I know it's kind of, the andesite's a little bit awkward, so we can like build it out a little bit, or something. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll have to figure it out. So I just really went ahead really quickly and bone mealed um, all the grass outside of the front of the house. Uh, so we just need to go ahead and put some jack-o'-lanterns in so we can get rid of all these ugly torches that are laying around the floor because they're super ugly. Um, so we're just gonna, you know, sprinkle sprinkle the jack-o'-lanterns around like we have in the past um, just to get a little bit of ambient lighting without the torches. Um, so let me go ahead and do that really quick. Unfortunately, we are only using, we are still using the community pumpkin farm, so, you know, I'm only getting about six, seven pumpkins at a time to do this, but, um, that's fine, I'm patient, whatever. And I was thinking we could have a path over here that leads back to, um, the house from, from the little circular path around the tower, so that would be really good. We're just gonna match it with, uh, that, we're just gonna match it with that path, um, so, you know, it'll be... It'll all, it'll all cohesively go together. But guys, unfortunately, I think that is all the time I have for today. So if you liked the video, please feel free to share and favorite it. Um, follow us on Twitter and on Facebook so you can get notified of when we have new videos or when we are streaming. But until next time, guys, I will see you later. Alright? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.